So, here's the deal. My name's Jack. I'm an FPV drone pilot living out of my Ford Transit Custom. For those of you who don't know what FPV drones are, it involves getting shots a little bit like this. Today, I'm in Scotland with my mate Matty, who's a street trials rider also doing out his van as a camper. Today, we are in Glencoe, which is in the middle of the mountains, pretty much. Yeah, mate, it's just surrounded by mountains. So if you don't know what FPV drones are, FPV stands for first person view. So basically I'm seeing what the drone sees in a, in a pair of goggles. So it's basically like VR sort of thing. But since the scenery is so good, I'm gonna take my seven inch up because I've written off all my five inch drones, trying to get one single clip the first day I come to Scotland. So yeah, didn't go to plan, but. All right, so I'm gonna pause it right there because I missed a few things out. So this is basically what I was trying to do. Flood the drone underneath the archway, pop back to basically reveal the whole building dive through this first little window, goes along out of the back window and power loop round and then pretty much matty flip through the original window I started with. And yeah, I did end up getting this, but unfortunately the footage was really overexposed and I wasn't too happy with it. And after that, I kind of wanted to try again. I did end up getting pretty close and somehow wedged myself in between a little gap above the window. But after around 100 attempts later, I was starting to get a little bit annoyed of walking back and forth to get my drone. As at one point, my mate Lee could see this and went and got it for me. So cheers, mate. Gnarly though. Oh, it's a tight gap. Good effort, Jack. So yeah, three drones, a few motors and some antennas later, I am out of drones pretty much. So that's what happened. What else are we going to do today? Uh, a bit of riding, I think. There's a bridge like, what was it, 10 minutes? Down? Yeah, um, about 10 minutes. Which looks rideable for me. I'm going to try and ride over the top of it and then hopefully Jack can get some sick shots with the drone with that. I think that's pretty much it really. Yeah. And then, yeah, just trying to get as much footage and stuff and some cool cool clips that, that we can so all right so i'm gonna cut in again because at this point in the video the wind sort of ruined the audio and you couldn't hear a word i was saying but this is basically me explaining the van that i live in and where everything is roughly i didn't go fully into depth but if you guys do want to see a full tour of the van then let me know and i will be sure to do that got my bmx helmet here another thing you probably don't know i ride bmx shows as well so yeah apart from that let's uh let's do a pack with the drone let's get the seven inch out get the drone bag out Controller, goggles. The question is, where have I put the seven? It's in the front seat of the car, for the van. Seven inch. So this is my radio. This is a Radio Master TX16S Max, I think, Mark II. And then the goggles I'm using are the DJI uh, V2 goggles, not the new ones, just the standard version. Most of the time when I'm flying, it's pretty hard to talk. I'm obviously looking at a lot of different things in the goggles, like the battery voltage, the signal I've got with the goggles, anything like that, making sure you know I've got enough battery voltage to get back. And it did take around about two minutes to fly up to the top of here and probably about 30 seconds to dive back down, but you'll see that in a minute. I'm right at the top of this mountain. I'll try and get a nice dive. So after diving this mountain, I got completely lost and ended up flying in the complete wrong direction. Mate, I'm shaking. My, battery's <laughs> getting, my battery's getting low, isn't it? I can see you. <laughs> I can see you breathing very fast. Like I didn't realise how far away I was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Wait, where even are we? Oh shit! Wait. Shut up, I'm pretty sure I can see it. I've flown past this. I think. I'm... Is there, there's quite a few puddles around here, isn't there? Yeah, a few, yeah. Well, 22 volts. Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah, yeah look, here we yeah, are. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. I was flying the complete wrong direction, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, like I was flying, there's a house down there somewhere. I was flying towards the house. I'm like, mate, I'm going the wrong direction. That was uh, intense. Did it look cool? I hope so. Yeah. 
I want, I want to do another pack. I might dive this mountain behind them. So this one took a little bit more time to get to the top as it was a lot more windy. Pretty much as I'm flying up, I'm just fighting the wind just to get to the top. Obviously when you're coming down, the wind's pushing you, so you're gonna have a lot more speed falling down the mountain. 22.8 volts, I'm almost on top. I went all the way to the top, mate. It's so windy here yeah, when I'm trying to dive at the top, right? Oh, there's a puddle. Yeah, when I'm trying to dive at the top, it's like uh, like the wind's pushing me back, back the other way. <laughs> Oi, do you want to show everyone your camper van? Yeah. Welcome to my... I don't think you can class it as a camper van, mate. Not really. <laughs> Uh, I've lit yeah, literally only just started it, so I stripped everything out, <coughs> and then just got a little camp bed in there, fishing bed. I've done the sound deadening and a little bit of insulation, like on the sides and the roof, and then I've insulated the floor as well, and then put some fresh uh, 12 mil ply, I think it is, in there. But yeah, it's still like early doors, man. Like. This is the first trip out in it, so. First slept. weekend, first night in the mountains, mate. <laughs> slept in it for the first night last night. But yeah, like, it's, it's a work in progress, so. Right, mate, he's got van problems. Go on, mate, show him. Cool. <laughs> 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 Did you want to mention that you woke up with a big puddle, like, right here? Nah, it was just a little bit wet, it wasn't like. Oh, yeah, yeah, a bit of a puddle. Me and Matty are gonna head to the next little spot, which is the bridge, so it's like 10, 15 minutes down the road. I haven't got a roof rack at the moment, so my solar panel sort of sits on the roof. Um, so and it, when it's not on the roof, it's in my front seat. <laughs> Rained a little bit. I'm at 12 volts. Back in the van and it's starting to rain again. So hopefully we don't have to sit out and hide from the rain for the next like four hours. I hope my van will start. Why? Well, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah. yeah. We'll walk down or something. All right, so I haven't actually told you what we're doing. Basically, Matty is going to cycle up this bridge at the bottom of the road down there. And Matty is up there. What do you reckon? So Matty's going to walk over, see if he can go get up on the bridge. And I'm going to get the drone out and uh, follow him. But yeah, if you want to follow Matty on uh, Instagram or TikTok or whatever, his Instagram and TikTok is Matty Turner Trials. He's just over there in the distance. So yeah. Let's get the drone up in the air in a minute. I'll climb up and yeah. I'll stay in the top for a bit. I'll cruise around you a little bit. I don't know how nice it is going to be to ride down because there's no like proper exit, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you just have to go slow. We'll see what it's like when you go up. All right, goggles are on, Matty's ready. Let's go. Let's go on the other side, bro. See you in a bit. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> 
gosh, that's it. Oh, that was sick. Mate, mate, we just looked at some of the clips quickly and it's looking sick. No, it's man. looking well good. I think most of the time I was just trying to avoid any cars. Like, I didn't want to be over the top of the bridge while there were some cars coming past, just in case. But, uh, yeah, the cruise looks pretty sick. I'll cruise along the, the river in it and come up to you. Yeah. yeah it's gone a little bit more, a little bit more foggy now. So I think a little bit more hidden. But, yeah, sick, pretty man. successful. Boss. Success. All right, so it's absolutely pissing it down. Matty's Park just there. Uh... Are you getting wet? Yeah. What's the plan? What are you doing? <laughs> so after me and Matty sat in the rain for a couple of hours, we decided to actually drive down a little bit more to St. Peter's Seminary, which is just outside of Glasgow. The road up to this place was pretty skinny, but as we got there, the gates were open, so we could just drive straight in. Gates are straight open, so we can park right outside of it. Okay, so for those of you that don't follow me on like Instagram or TikTok or anything like that, I do a lot of like flying around abandoned buildings pretty much looking for different lines. I know I've got one drone that kind of works, so I'm just gonna send it. If it breaks, it breaks. But yeah, this is today's bando. What do you reckon? Nah, it's all these flies. Yeah, they were here the other day and all. Normally, when I get to these places, I generally look around a little bit, see what sort of lines there are, and then um, get the drone up. All right, I'm gonna go back to the van, try and get up in the air. Oh. Well, watch out for the water, it's like right below me there. Oh, where did that oh. land? In the water. Mate, you can get you can get around there. No, it's literally on the chair. Like it's fine. Oh, it's stinging now. Oh, I got it. Oh shit. Love it. My signal's up really bad now. And if you look at the antenna right there, it's non-existent at the moment. Alright, that's me done for, for bandos today. A little cruise round. Put that. On. So I've got a couple of packs in at this place, which is good. Might have got a little clip there. I'm not too sure. I wasn't really. I didn't really know what I was going for. Normally I plan stuff out a bit more, but I had one drone, a couple of batteries, so I was like, why not? Um, but we are going to head to tonight's park up. So let's go. Not unless I drive off and then it will fall off. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just gonna tidy everything up. We're gonna cook a bit of food and then chill out for the rest of the night, I think. Today we are cooking up some professional pesto pasta. Mate, you sound miserable, cheer up. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason we're cooking pasta with the only cheese Matty had in his van is because it's Sunday and all the shops were closed and me and Matty had absolutely no food. How was it? Right, isn't it? Yeah, it's decent. All right, so normally once I've eaten dinner, sorted everything out, I'll genuinely get the bed out. So the first thing I've got to do to get my bed out is I need to put the table away, so that goes in the back door. All 
All right, so I shut the door. It's a little bit dark. Let me flick the lights on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I get my bed out. Um, so first I take this off. This has just got little Velcro bits that go under there. I've got like a bunch of clothes under there and things like that. And then I simply flick this lever here and pull the bed straight down. So yeah, anything that's in the way, like my laundry here, I'll just slide it under the bed, my camera bag as well, and slide that straight under the bed. And I get the pillows out, and uh, I'm sorted for the night. Basically just been sat in the van, going through some of the footage we shot that looks really, looks pretty cool actually. So this is what I do most nights as well, like after I've gone out and shot footage and clips and things, I'll generally come back and that night in the van I'll just sit here and edit, find stuff that's good. I had no plan for this video, me and Matty woke up and were like, okay let's just film something, we're here, we've drove all the way to Scotland. Uh, I was meant to be with three other lads as well, uh, Mumba FPV and Chase FPV, but um, Mum's car broke down, uh, Mum's van broke down and Chase went home Tuesday so I spent a few days with him which was pretty cool. So I've been thinking about making a YouTube video for a long time and I didn't really know how to do it so I've just kind of ended up filming today and I'm going to hopefully consistently keep going out filming, getting cool footage. I want to come back to Scotland, I want to make a, a cool cinematic film of Scotland, I think that'll be really good. It's just the weather up here is like on and off which sucks but yeah so obviously this is my first youtube video if you enjoyed it drop a like comment subscribe if you want to and um yeah i'm sure you'll see me soon peace mm -hmm.